Hi, this is Sven at Manticore Arms, and today we're going to go through the installation of the Phoenix PD35V 3.0 light. So we've got that in this box here. It's got the AER02 version 2.0 pressure switch. Here's the hammerhead forend for the Tavor 7 it will go in. The light will install in this hole in the front, and a pressure switch wire will come out the back. And then finally, what you're going to find when you buy the forend and the flashlight together uh, you'll probably have one square of tape here. This is some foam tape. It's got a removable backing on it. I just have two here, just in case I need a spare for the video. And finally, you're going to find the Tavor 7 Hammerhead 4-end hardware kit. Let's open this up real quick and show you everything that's included. So we've got here, there's a large Allen wrench we'll use to remove the top rail on the uh, gun. We're not actually gonna show the installation of the forend on the gun, but just how this all goes together. So we don't need that. We've got the hardware kit itself, which has a bunch of Allen wrenches. And most importantly is these brass screws. These brass screws are going to install in these two holes and these two holes. And that's actually what retains your flashlight in here. Um, if you see inside, it's a circular hole. We can look through the back side here. You can see it's basically a collar that comes back to about here that your flashlight slides into. And then these screws will press that flashlight up slightly to engage it in that entire area and create friction. So let's open up our flashlight here. It comes in this nice box as you get it. And you'll find a bunch of accessories in here, not all of which are used for the actual kit, but come with the flashlight. So what we've got here is our flashlight itself. Batteries are already in it. We'll take the end cap off and show that. So we've got their little paper cover here to keep it from operating when it's in the packaging. So it comes with a big 2600 milliamp hour battery. And the one thing I want to point out is if you look there, that's actually a USB port. So this is a rechargeable battery. Um, so you can take it out of the flashlight, recharge it, put it in. You can also put a pair of CR123s in here that run fine. Um, battery comes with the flashlight. And then as we open up this magical pile of stuff, it does come with its own charging cable. So that end will plug into the battery. This goes into a standard USB port or uh, wall adapter uh, as you might need. Let's put that out of the way here. Also comes with, if you just want to use it as a flashlight, it's got a little case here. And then the instructions and uh, a little, it's a little lanyard that comes with it, which you obviously don't need that. Here's the instructions, explanation of all the functions on it. We won't go through that in the video, but suffice to say, when you press this button here, um, actually, I will put this back together and explain it real quick, I guess. So whether it's a presser switch or the push button tail cap here, you see it turns on. Uh, you'll notice that blinks a little bit to let you know it's, that it's powered up. If you press this button here, you can actually control the light level. And as I recall, there are four different light levels. So that's really cool because that allows you, you can see it's still working there, to control the illumination you want coming out of your forend. Now we'll just turn it back off. Last thing, there's this pocket clip. So, starting the installation process, we're gonna remove the pocket clip here. It just snaps off, you can put it with all your other goodies there. Got the flashlight. Like I said, we'll take the end cap off here. Make sure everything's tight. Here's your pressure switch. Open that up. Uh, you will note it comes with a piece of Velcro. Don't lose that. That's actually handy. Also got some zip ties. We don't actually need it for what we're doing, but you know, if you ever need to secure it, you've got those included. The pressure switch cap already has Velcro the, on the back end of it there. Okay. So let's talk real quick about the function of this while we're at it. I'm going to screw the end cap on here. Exciting stuff, I know. And you've got two buttons. The first one is 
temporary activation. Basically, you hold down the button, it works. The second one is you press it down and it locks it in the open. You press it again, it unlocks it. So you can combine the two of those if you want. You see that? It's on, okay. It can be on. You can adjust your light levels here. And then when you turn it off, it will go back to the exact same light level you've preset it for. What's nice is this button will be exposed on the underside when it's mounted in the fore end, which allows you to simply set up the preset the light the way you want uh, with the light level you find most comfortable. It's also accessible so that after it's all said and done, you can change it. All right, so with our fore end here, excuse me, we got our light, our kit here, tear it open. There we go. So I'm going to collect up all those brass screws. Uh, these Allen wrenches are various sizes that actually allow you to deal with installation of the forend on the actual gun. So we're just going to set those aside because once again we're not using them. So what we're going to do with these little guys is start them in these holes, the smallest Allen wrench get them going and what we don't want to quite do yet is we're going to thread them in but we don't want it to come through the inside surface here it's kind of hard to see let me see if i can thread it in enough you can see it there you can see it's starting to poke through so we don't want that because the flashlight will hang up on it we want to back it out basically flush with this side surface right there should be good we'll get all four of them going All right, number two's ready. And these brass screws are meant to limit any kind of marring on the um, sides of the screw, oh, I'm sorry, not the screwdriver, on the sides of the light. Uh, you will get a little bit of marring on the finish, uh, but functionally the light works just fine and they do hold it down nicely. So I think we're all good there. You can always run your finger inside here to make sure that the screw heads aren't poking through and we're good. So this flashlight, what we wanna do is have this button facing down when it's installed and it'll look roughly like that when it's in there. The pressure switch cable here is going to route through the back of the handguard here and then we're gonna put it through one of these notches depending on which side. If you're right-handed, you probably want it on the left side. So that's what we're gonna do here. So simply take the pressure switch, drop it through like so. And when we get to this point, you can actually see this flashlight. We've, we've used it once before with some tape on it. So your button's down. And what we're going to want to do is take some of this foam tape, peel the backing off. There we go. And adhere it to the top of the flashlight where you can see this thinner section here. We're just going to put it right about there. That's good. So you can see what's going on. What that's going to do is help take up a little of the slack in the hole here. Because the hole is designed for a bunch of different sizes of flashlights. But that'll take it up. And then also when we're tightening these screws down, it's pressing up. That will help compress this. It gets a lot of friction in there so the flashlight doesn't want to move. And holds everything nice and in position. So we're in like that. You can see the buttons basically lined up on the bottom side. And then just tighten these screws up. So what you want to do is give this two, three turns on this side, and then we'll flip it over to the other side. Same thing. And we'll go back and forth.
You can hear that biting in just a little bit. So when these are in deep enough, they'll actually be recessed inside the plastic. I'll show that in just a second here. Okay. This last guy. So there we go. That's pretty good in there. And you can see these are recessed in here. Um, you want to get them pretty equal. Uh, you can see when I did it here, these probably could be backed out of hair and these tightened in hair, but it's not going to bother your hands or anything like that. So the next step is we've got our pressure switch. You see where it'll line up. We go through that notch. That notch allows it to clear through the gun when it's actually uh, mounted. And then we're going to take a piece of tape here. If I can get it. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to spend a minute here trying to get this, this unhooked. I guess I should have prepped in advance, huh? Well, this one's being a little ornery, but essentially what you're going to do is stick it on here, and then your switch will attach there, right to the Velcro. So when you've got that, you're all set up. You can use a flashlight, as you can see. You can lock it on, do whatever you need when it's mounted on the gun. You mount the forend on the gun. So the one question that's come up is, how do I change the battery? So I have to take the whole forend off? Do I got to do all that? So with the old TK11 lights, you did have to do that, the ones we used to offer. What I liked about this when we experimented is not only that you can control the light level with this switch to get what you want for the environment you're in, but if you loosen these two front screws on the fore end, so we got that one backed out. We got this one backed out. All right, so we got those backed out. This head unscrews from the light. So you can take that off. Battery drops right out. You plug it into your charger. Boom, right back in. Put this guy on. There we go. It'll time out to right the same position. You'll tighten these guys up. And you're not even taking it off the gun. And your light is ready to go again. So... That is the installation of the Phoenix PD35 V3.0 flashlight, along with the AER-02 pressure switch, and how to change the batteries without removing it from the forend. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at info at manticorearms.com. Thanks.